Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com and I'm currently on board the beautiful Oasis of the Seas. She just finished 165 plus million dollar amplification and she's in beautiful, beautiful shape. I'd love to show you around a few of our favorite rooms today and I'm gonna start right now with the Grand Suite two bedroom. So this is an amazing option that can fit up to eight passengers and if you use the adjoining stateroom as well, you can get 10 in here. Right when you walk in on the left-hand side here, you're gonna have your temperature controls. There's a couple of them throughout the suite and we'll head right into the bathroom. So there's two bedrooms and two bathrooms in the suite. So this is gonna be the second bathroom probably used by guests um, or you know somebody who's staying in, uh, in the second bedroom there. So the first thing I'll notice is it's got the little uh, kickstand there where you can put your foot up if you need to. Upgraded L'Occitane bath amenities, which are fantastic. In the shower here, you've got this glass shower door. I love that. I hate uh, having the, uh, the shower curtain blowing in on me, just one of my personal pet peeves. A little bit of storage here to the side, a little bit of storage underneath there as well. And then underneath here, you're gonna have the trash and the tiniest bit of storage. So not a ton of space to put things away, away completely, but if you have guests coming over for a party or something like that, it's great that they can utilize this bathroom. They don't go have to go into your personal space. So over here to my right is going to be the second bedroom. So follow me on in. Right now it is set up as a, you know, for two people in here. But what you notice is this will come apart. This royal queen bed will split. They'll put the end tables to the middle and then you'll have these two come down. So you actually put four people in here. Four kiddos would be perfect. Four adults might be a little bit tight, um, but I have used this room in the past for, you know, a couple of different couples traveling together who wanted to share the experience and have the suite experience as well. On the side over here, you've got a reading lamp. You've got storage just to the, the side. Exactly the same on both uh, both sides. Over here, you're gonna have a makeup mirror uh, getting ready, little chair that pops out, and you've got this full vanity here. Drawers open up to provide a little bit of storage, a little bit more storage here. You've got your hair dryer, which is complimentary in every room on board the entire ship. And you have your first TV here, remotes there. You can use it to access your account, watch videos, watch movies, or sorry, watch TV, watch movies, all kinds of stuff there. And then let me open this up for you. Here is the uh, hanging storage for the suite. You can see that for four people, not a ton, but if you got four kiddos in here, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. And then you've got the ladder that's gonna help you get up and down from the top bunk. So I'm gonna continue on into the living room. Before I do, I just wanted to point out there's more storage here. So you've got hanging storage as well. So if you can't fit it all in there, it's just right across the way. And they also have these fun uh, door no or knobs here. Click them in and out. And uh, you know, once again, I, I don't think they're that useful, but I do think that they're kind of fun. All right, so now we are at the, uh, the vanity area where you have your uh, hot water and then also your coffee maker. Storage up above here, phone. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is you have a European plug here and a US plug. Personally, I always bring extra converters and adapters. That way I can utilize all of the plugs entire in the entire room. Okay, underneath here, you are going to have your mini fridge. It's a little bit bigger than in the standard staterooms. A little bit of storage on the side there. Okay. More storage here, all the way up and down. Storage there as well. And then finally, you're gonna have more hanging storage here as well. So you've got your next flat panel TV. Um, and the reason you have the storage in this room is that this bed can make up for two as well. So you'd have four in there, two in the master, two in here to make up eight people. You have these really comfy chairs. When they did the massive renovation, they actually updated all of uh, the, the upholstery in the suites. And you can really tell they're in really, really great shape. And one last thing I wanted to point out in this room before we headed into the master was that you have this door here. So this can open up and adjoin to a standard balcony stateroom. So if you have friends traveling together, maybe it's, you know, your family's in here and your friends are next door, um, that way that you guys can share the space. I think it's a really awesome option. So now I'm heading into the master bedroom. One thing that I wanted to point out right away is that this door shuts completely. Some of the other configurations, there's a, a curtain. And for me, it's a big deal to have that privacy, especially when you're traveling family or even more so if you're traveling with a group of friends. So right here on the side of the bed, you're gonna have storage, okay? You're gonna have a nice little reading lamp, uh, lights adjust there. This is the third TV in the room if you're keeping track. And then over to the side here, um, you're gonna have the second set, which is exactly the same as the other. And you're gonna have the master light switches over here. Right now, the bed is together in a Royal Queen configuration, but once again, they can pull that apart and put two twin beds in here as well. Um, somewhat recently, I actually had a group of eight friends that traveled in a, in a stateroom, well, in this stateroom, and uh, you know, they, they, they really enjoyed it, but you've gotta really wanna share that space to do that. 
Okay, so now you have the vanity. So you got a nice chair there to get ready. Storage on both sides here. Storage on the side over there, as well as your hair dryer. Up here, you're gonna have storage on either side. Pretty small, but it is nice to put those things away. You're gonna have your magnifying mirror. You have two US plugs and a Euro plug. Once again, you might wanna bring an extra converter with you. Right here, you're gonna have more drawers, more storage up here, and then a, a safe that's big enough for a full-size laptop. I really do appreciate that. So over here is where you're gonna have the hanging storage. You pull that down, you get even more, and then you see the beautiful plush bathrobes that come standard in the suite categories. Another temperature control here, just something I wanna point out, is each room is separately temperature controlled. And now we're heading into the master bathroom. So first thing, I do like these uh, marble countertops. They look really beautiful. You've got storage over to the side here, a little bit of storage underneath where you can put things away completely. Storage here as well, and the upgraded L'Occitane bath amenities, and this bathtub. So for me personally, I started cruising with my daughter when she was about, about six, seven months old. And so now that she's almost four, we still love having a bathtub in a cruise ship and not that many of them will have it. So to me, this is a great advantage. I don't love the shower curtain here just because it pushes in on you. I wish they would have been able to put a glass one. But other than that, I absolutely love this bathroom, especially for those traveling with kiddos. All right, so now I'm heading out to the extra large balcony. So as you can see, it's the size of the full bedroom and the entire living room. You've got these two great loungers here that you can sit back, relax. I love the privacy as well because this is sideways facing. And when we set sail in just a couple minutes, you just have these beautiful, beautiful ocean views directly in front of me. It's also big enough that you have some friends come over, you can entertain as well. So we've got a dining room table here with four chairs. And then you can see where that door opens up there. That's where it open up to adjoin to the balcony. And so now you've got a complex that can house 10 people and is a really, really great size. Thank you so much for joining me today on this two bedroom grand suite tour on the Oasis of the Seas. When you're ready to book this suite or any suite in the Royal Caribbean fleet, reach out to Hard Travel. We are your Royal Caribbean suite experts. I'm a Diamond Plus member and we have an amazing relationship with Royal Caribbean. So we know that we can absolutely positively give you the best Royal experience at an incredible value.